Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today you're watching a game of Nomination on Outpost. Now this gameplay was recorded during the time of great gameplay boosting, which is when a lot of YouTube commentators were making their entire team run Ballistic Vest for them, and that's exactly what I had Huskies in here. Kudos to you, I won't ever make you do it again, uh, because it's really boring for the other person, or the other people, and people love these gameplays for some reason. Now, this one isn't that uh, amazing. I, I took too long to get my first kill streak, but you can see how I go 35 and 1 with just one kill streak set. So it's really easy to get 100 kill games and go like 103 or whatever, uh, just because you're you know you're destroying it. And plus, this isn't even a very good map for uh, for air support. So you can see how people can do that. It's not that entertaining. So you don't have to watch it, but I do want you to listen to the commentary because what I'm going to be talking about today is your legacy. Your legacy is what you are when you aren't. So if you're gone, now let's say if you die, your legacy is what people remember you by. What do people think of you after you're gone? When you graduate, graduate high school, graduate college, whatever, when people remember you, they're going to think about what you did, what you've done in your life, and how that defines you. So if you do, I don't know, terrible things during your lifetime, Hitler, then what's your legacy going to be? A cruel and evil man. But if you do great things, let's say Winston Churchill, if you do great things like him, you'll be remembered as a very noble man. And if what you're not doing, or if what you're doing is not noble, then you shouldn't be doing it because that's your legacy. You're destroying your legacy. And your legacy is very important to you. Even, and you might be saying, well, if it's what people remember you by and don't know you by like for example you know me because i currently play video games and i post those videos on the internet however you will know me by my videos that i have posted on the internet once i'm gone but let's say i wanted to continue making videos let's say i quit and then i come back and i want to make videos again well guess what my legacy are those videos my legacy is those series of the series of the series of videos i can't talk today the series of videos and that I've made. So if you do make videos, and I'm talking about this uh, specifically for a friend, but if you do make videos, make sure that you're proud of them and they exemplify you because those are going to be your legacy. Even if only, you know, like in my case, I have 216 subscribers as I'm recording this. Even if only like 10 of those will ever remember me once in their life, like, hey, I remember that guy. I used to watch his videos. On YouTube, maybe they're browsing YouTube once again in you know ten years time, and they see my videos. They'll be like, "Hey, I remember that guy. He was a pretty cool guy." Because that's my legacy. Those are the videos that I posted, and people will remember me by them.